Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for the permanganate ion. So here we go. Uh, permanganate is going to be MnO4 minus, and that's going to give us 7 valence from the manganese plus 4 oxygens each with 6 valence electrons plus 1 more for the minus 1 charge for a total of 32 valence electrons okay and we can subtract out the largest multiple of 8 which is also 32 it gives us 0 and since 32 is equal to 8 times 4 that means that this is going to be an AX4 uh, shape so there's a central atom surrounded by four uh, peripheral atoms okay so let's go ahead and draw this structure out we've got the uh, manganese in the middle surrounded by the four oxygens and we can go ahead and single bond all of them together and then we can fill in the oxygen octets okay so at first you might think that this is correct but if you were to calculate right now the formal charge of the central uh, manganese it would be plus three and you do not want to have any plus threes in your formal charges so what we're going to end up doing is to get that formal charge down to zero we're going to end up moving three non-bonding pairs of electrons so this one to make a double bond here this one to make a double bond here and this non-bonding pair to make a double bond here now this is now this will give us a better formal charge on the central manganese okay and also don't forget to add in your brackets because this is an ion okay you gotta put the charge up top so let's go ahead and check the formal charge now so the uh, formal charge on the manganese in the center is going to be the seven valence brought in minus one two three four five six seven bonds minus zero non-bonding for a formal charge of zero as you can see before with four single bonds that would have been plus three and you don't want that okay now the uh, formal charge on let's say the uh, oxygen with a single bond so O sub one that's uh, six valence brought in minus one bond minus two four six non-bonding electrons for a formal charge of negative one and then the uh, formal charge on each of the oxygens with a double bond so let's call that O sub two and there's so it's these three so each of those is six valence brought in minus two bonds for each minus four non-bonding electrons for each one and that's a formal charge of zero you multiply that times three because there's three of them still zero though Add all these up gives you a minus one overall, which is what you want because that has to match up with the charge on the ion up here. Okay, so that's good. Now, if you notice, we just happen to choose that this top oxygen is the one that has the single bond and the other three have double bonds. That's going to lead to having uh, four total resonance structures where you have different, um, each structure, there's a different oxygen that has the single bond and the other three will have double bonds. So here's one more resonance structure just so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm not going to draw all four because that would kind of take up too much time. Now in this one, the right oxygen has the single bond instead of the top one and then the other three oxygens all have double bonds, okay? So that's what I'm talking about when I say resonance structures. Now in terms of shape with the uh, AX4, that means that this is going to be a uh, tetrahedral shape okay and when you have the tetrahedral shape the bond angle is going to be uh, approximately 109.5 degrees all right um, in terms of hybridization looking at the central atom here there's one two three four bonding sites or four electron groups so that means that you're going to need four orbitals so sp3 hybrid 1s, 3ps, 4 orbitals for 4 bonding groups or electron groups, okay? And because these are all oxygens, because they're all the same kind of uh, surrounding atom, that, that means that they're going to cancel each other out in terms of polarity, which means that this is going to be a non-polar ion, all right? That is pretty much it for this one. If you have any questions, let me know, and thanks for watching.